Hi, my YouTube friends. It's Karen, and I hope everybody's having a good day and had a good week. And it's Monday. Yay. I guess. <laughs> I had a good weekend. I want to catch you up on a few things. Um, my daughter and her two boys, age 10 and 9, had a came down for a visit on Friday and just left this morning. Um, it was it was it was a not unplanned. I know I knew they were coming, but I didn't find out until Wednesday that they were coming on Friday because they're going to be moving to the DC area. Her husband is station, going to be stationed up in that area. So they've already got a house, and they're moving August 14th. So it was a good chance to see at least part of the family. And, and uh, my daughter and I had a good chance to um, visit. We went out to dinner last night, just her and I, you know, had some mom and daughter time, which was good. The, <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's me, but um, both my grandsons are, uh, have AD, are ADD, Attention Deficit Disorder. Uh, the 10-year-old really isn't um, that active. You, one on one with him is fine. He acts fine. The nine year old, he is a charmer, but he does not sit still nor stop talking. He's constantly doing something, moving, uh, jumping. Uh, I, I don't know. I said to my daughter, I said, I don't know. I said, I feel like a terrible grandmother because. I'm just not used to that. Um, Jessica knows, and um, my son knows, Jason knows, that um, when they were growing up, Charlie and I were very strict with them. And you, if you went to somebody's house, you sat down, you talked if you were spoken to, or you could, you know, speak but you didn't interrupt somebody. But, you know, I mean, you could talk with wherever you were or whoever you were with. Uh, but you, I don't know, you had more respect for your elders, more respect for things, more respect for time. The boys were not bad, they're just active. And the nine-year-old is constantly uh, not picking on, but they they get themselves in little touches. They're not angry. Like they love playing with each other, and it tends to get a little rough at times. Not really bad, but you know, pushing and touching and this and that, and it's just a disaster waiting to happen in here. I'm just I'm just not used to it. And I said to my daughter, I said, I don't know how you do it, because. You guys weren't like that, so it's hard for me to, uh, I don't want to say the word accept, because that isn't true, but it's, it's hard for me to deal with people that are so active and so into everything. So um, it was a busy weekend, and the Three days went. It was a good visit. Didn't didn't have to be. I well, it was long enough. Let's put it that way. With the two boys, uh, I I don't know how much more I small doses. I love them, but you know, small doses. I 
I'm old. What can I tell you? I don't know. Small doses is about all I can take. So that being said, it was a nice surprise, and we had a good time. So let's catch you up. On a few. Oh, one of the things we did go do is go to the swimming pool here, uh, and it was great. I didn't go in because we hadn't really even seen it up close. The boys went in. They had a great time. It's a beautiful pool. There's three pools here, but the one that you can bring visitors to uh, is the one, of course, that we went to. Uh, Charlie even said that he and I will go and get in the pool the next time, just he and I. Um, so that will be happening hopefully sometime this week. Um, we also looked at the fitness center, which is beautiful. Uh, and now we know how to use it. All you have to do is it has an electronic check-in, you know, and you put your ID card up against it and it unlocks the door. We played miniature golf. They have a 18 home miniature golf course. Now it, it is real miniature golf, but it doesn't have all the fancy houses and stuff. It's without the kitschy or whatever that word is, uh, stuff that they put, you know, like the windmills and that stuff. It's, a, it's just the course. There's rocks there. There's hills. There's, you know, it's a course, but it doesn't have that other kitschy stuff in there. So we had fun doing that. We didn't play all 18 holes. We did nine. It was so hot down here. We were all a bag of sweat. Of course, it was like uh, 1 o'clock in the afternoon or so, so we were at, there at the wrong time. There was no one else there. We were the only people playing. So that wasn't a problem, but it was just, it was and then it was the next day we went to the pool. Uh, so as I said, that's very nice. And at the pool area, right behind it, there's a pub, and uh, you can get your breakfast or lunch there, and and they you know eat it, not in the immediate pool area, but right behind the immediate pool area. So um, it's a lovely place to sit and. Uh, uh, relax. So we will be doing that. Uh, and Charlie decided that we're going to be going a lot more places in the golf cart, like to the pool and everything in there rather than driving. But with five people, we had to drive the car anyway. And he did take the boys out for a um, golf cart ride. And uh, so, as I say, all in all, it was good. I I just wish I, I guess I wish I was a little more patient or understanding or fun. I don't know what the word is, but I'm, I'm, I'm not with it. I, I don't know. Anyway, and my other grandson, two grandsons, and my daughter-in-law will be coming on the 24th of August for eight days. Uh, so that ought to be good. Now that's an eight-year-old, no, we just turned nine. So a nine-year-old, no, eight-year-old. I'm not even sure now. No, nine, he's nine. Nine-year-old and a... He was born November 11th, so what is he, eight months old? Nine month, nine month old. So that ought to be really fun. <laughs> oh, you, you know, you get used to being by yourself and not having little kids around, and uh, it's hard to get used to having them. But I'm looking so forward to them coming, and uh, let's see, I went and I had my hair done today, and I love my hairdresser. She even gave me 
a curling iron just to straighten out this hair because I can't, the curling iron really just straightens it and uh, takes the frizz out of it because I've been trying all kinds of techniques because we're trying to get this to all grow into one length and she's got this side the way I want it going back that and so and it's shot in the back so it's easy to take care of except the side isn't long enough and weighted down enough but it'll get there and she knows what I want and we're working to that and you know she's hoping that's why I think she gave me the curling iron because she isn't because I was saying as my hair grows longer it should uh, go the way I want it to, and she kind of looked at me and she said, well, maybe it should. So she gave me <laughs> the curling iron. Well, that's about all news. I hope everyone is doing well and enjoying their summer. Got the almost over. No. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't know why I'm doing this. This is a I'm in a silly mood, I guess. Charlie had his doctor's appointment and everything. All his blood work is terrific, and he's very healthy. So that's that's a good thing. This is, you know, really good. And he is uh, off one of his medication, and his other one is in half for his uh, high blood pressure. So, and, uh, you know, he... He's doing good. He's still, he still is back aches and, you know, hey, we're old. What can I tell you? But I think walking the dogs and, you know, getting out more and once we get into the pool and do some exercises. Plus, he wants to go and use uh, the gym and the health equipment, all the, all the fancy uh, fitness equipment. So he'll be doing that. Okay. It was nice talking to you. Thanks for stopping in. Peace, hugs, love, and God bless.